Okay, so this is a really quick way to add site topography to your Revit model, to your Revit environment. Um, something really fast when you're just in the early stages of a project. Um, you can end up with something that looks kind of like this really quick. Uh, you don't want to spend a ton of time on, um, and your sections look good too. You don't want to spend a ton of time on modeling these things early on. We just want it really quick. So um, like my previous video, you're going to want to go to CAD Mapper uh, where you can get a lot of free geometry um, and you can get it really quickly. So uh, when you come in here, you zoom into your site. I've picked a site that has a lot of grading. Uh, I have the 3D buildings turned on, set at three meters for no height, for buildings that don't have height information. Uh, the one thing differently you'll want to do this time from my previous video showing CAD Mapper is turn on topography and turn on contours. You want both of these turned on. I have this set at every five meters, but you can adjust that. Um, I do keep the, the road geometry and the walkway geometry at mesh surfaces, and I'll show you why I do that. So when we create file, if, as long as you have all of that correct and you're using the AutoCAD export, uh, you'll get your, your file here, and you can click download to get that. So next thing we want to do in our Revit environment is I'll open my default 3D view, and I'm going to delete what I imported previously. I'm going to go File, New, Family, and English Imperial. I'm going to go down to Site. Open. Okay, so just like before, we're going to insert uh, and import our CAD. This is the, the one that we were just looking at here. I've already downloaded it. Make sure that unit, units are set to meters again and hit import. And we're just going to place that here. So what we want to do differently this time is we actually want to select this and go and delete layers. So we're going to delete the contours layer and delete the topography layer. Because you're going to see, uh, if I look in 3D here, you'll see that this model it comes both with this 3D mesh kind of geometry that's interpolating these, uh, these topograph topographical lines here. So we're going to delete both of those layers from here. Hit OK. Good. So that's what we should be left with. I'm going to load this in to our project. This is the family here that and you'll see this is kind of what it'll look like. <clears throat> and again, I show you in the previous video how to make your roads look this way. You're really just messing with the line colors, the line thicknesses and the material patterns. But when you import this way, all of this, all of these graphic settings are already already done in here. Um, so here's what's going to be different this time. I'm going to actually import CAD. Actually, before, let me show you this. So if we tried massing in site, if we tried to build a topo surface um, and we and we tried to use that file we just imported, create from import, it's going to give us this error message that says there is no import to, to go for. So that's because this import is inside of uh, a a family that we've added. So we actually need to import the CAD into our Revit environment separately here. So basically just do this again. Um, we want to make sure this is set to meters again. It's going to place it at your lowest level, which we need to fix once, once it's in. And you'll see that it doesn't have graphics uh, settings applied to it, which is why we do this this way inside of a family. Um, so now that we have this in here, we can go to massing in site, topo surface, and create from import, select import. So it's going to let us select this. Uh, and over here, you'll check none and hit contours. So you're just using this layer to create the topo surface. Hit OK. Great. And actually, one thing I forgot, um, one thing I forgot to do is before we do any of that, let's set this to level one that's going to cause a problem later when we try to move this into place. So I'll do this again, topo surface, create from import, select import this guy, check none, contours. And there we go, we'll have a, a 3D surface. So what you'll do is we want to move this into place, we'll just pick a reference point. Since these are the same imports, we can just use the same lower corner of this building to pop it into the right place there. 
and then we can literally just delete this, just get rid of it. So that'll that'll leave us with what looks like this, which doesn't look great. If you zoom in, there's way too many way too many lines interpolated. Uh, let me show you how to fix that so that it looks good. So if we go to manage, uh, or actually no, uh, if we go to visibility graphics, if you scroll down under model categories under topography, I'll go in here and I'll turn off secondary contours. That's what's giving us all of these lines that we don't want. And you'll see now the contours look a lot better. They look like what you'd uh, what you'd see, uh, you know, an actual civil drawing, architectural drawing. And you'll notice that these are I have main contours. They're set to a certain color because they're kind of hard to see here. If I go to manage object styles, again scroll down to topography under model objects. I have primary contours set to this green color and that's project wide. Uh, when you do this through manage object styles and not through your view template or specific view visibility graphics, you can control it project wide from here. Okay, so I'm, I'm also going to select this and I'm gonna apply a material to it, which I have already in this project. Um, it's kind of like a slight green, you can change the color to it. I also have a transparency applied to this material and the reason is because you get these shadows. When I have this selected, you can see because the road kind of hovers above and does all these funky things, it doesn't line up perfectly. We don't want those shadows to appear. So I simply add a transparency uh, to the material surface and you don't have that issue with the shadows. I'll also take and select this um, and I'll bump it up by about 20 feet or so. Again, this is just for for a quick graphic and just to get a quick start on a project if you want to start filling out your presentation really quickly you can you can adjust and get more into the fine details later on in the project but uh, essentially it's as easy as that and now you can go into your presentation uh, and I can move this in my sections and I have a uh, I have applied to these sections I have um, if you see here how it kind of fades to, to the back, I have in this visibility, in this uh, graphic display, I have it set over here to show depth queuing. So this is checked and this is these are the settings to, to get that if you want. It looks kind of nice when you're uh, just doing quick graphic stuff. So and if I open up kind of a site analysis sheet, you can see this looks really good as a diagram that's going to be the fastest way uh, to get that done in the early stages of your project. Uh, thanks, I'll see you in the next video.